Good morning, everybody. Welcome to online class, Priyadarshini High School. I am Mrs. Sastra, your social teacher. Today we are going to start a new lesson, reading and making of maps. Children will read in details how maps are made. Just see this map. What do you observe? You can see it colorful. So many colors are used in it. So it is telling you something. Why colors are used? So children, I'll tell you, even maps communicate with us. Not only human beings communicate. So to communicate, you need a language. Like you speak, so many lo local languages. We have mother tongue, Hindi, Telugu, all this, isn't it? So, same way, maps also have a language. What is the language of map? There are four languages of maps. Okay? So, we will see what is it. First one is signs and symbols. Second one is scale. Third one is colors on the map. And the fourth one is, fourth one very important is directions. Unless these things, it is difficult for us to locate a place. Before knowing what is language of map, how they communicate with us, let's first see the history of maps. What do you know about history? That is, from where these maps have been originated or started. Map is derived from a Latin word called Mapo. What is it? Mapo is the first person who started this maps. You know who is this person? He is a Flemish Girardus Mercator. He was the first person to make a collection of maps in the form of books known as atlas. A book of collection of maps is called as atlas. Okay. You know children who were the first to make maps? They were Babylonians. Who, they were the first to make maps in the, that is 2600 years ago. Okay. So how did they make the maps? earlier they the maps were handmade okay the maps were handmade they were not like google map or any any other map they were not easy okay and it gave a rough picture rough picture of any place or any country or whatever it is what is a map children now tell me what is a map map is a flat drawing on a surface. What is a map? It is a flat drawing on a surface. It can be a boat, board, it can be a sheet of paper on anything. A person who studies map are called cartographist. What do you call children? A person who studies map are called cartographist. They will go to a place Analyze the area and put them in a systematic form and give us the clear picture of location of that particular area. Okay, waha ke wo particular area ka location bhi deta hai. It is not so easy. You need accuracy. Yani accuracy. A correct figure chahiye, a correct distance ke liye, a scale chahiye. Okay, accuracy zaruri hai and clarity also. Okay. So, it is very important to draw a map, that is we need accuracy as well as clarity to draw the location and area of a particular place. Drawing of map is called as cartograph, okay. It is derived from the French word carte or graph. Carte means map, graph means drawing okay so it is derived from the french word cart o graph clear children understood children i told you clearly what is a map okay 
What did you understand? That is map is a drawing on a flat surface. So, a map gives you the relationship between the concern or nearby locations of further places and give you clear picture of size and shape of the countries, the seven continents, oceans, etc. Okay. So, this is a world map. What can you see? You can see the continents, oceans, islands and the detailed information about the world. Okay. Now, this is the map of our own state that is Telangana. So, you can see all the districts. It gives us the clear picture of the districts in this map. Okay, children. Now, this is the forest map. It shows all the forest in our country and types of forest and wildlife sanctuaries where they are situated. Okay. Now, this is the root map. What is root map? That is, it shows the places connected to one another. Okay. So, that is it connects the routes from one place to the other. So, maps are so helpful. They also give you the information of remote areas also. Okay, children, I think all have understood. If you have any doubts, you can clear with me. Thank you. Have a nice day.